In his first opinion after appointment to the U.S. Supreme Court, Justice Neil Gorsuch wrote the decision in a case called Henson v. Santander, dealing with the Federal Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. That is a statute adopted by Congress back in the mid-1970s, and what it does in substance is to impose $1,000 in automatic damages plus attorney's fees against a debt collector who employs techniques in debt collection that are prohibited by that statute. In the Henson decision, Justice Gorsuch wrote that a debt collector who actually purchases a debt for its own portfolio is not anymore a debt collector in that respect and is therefore not subject to the FTCPA. However, and this is very important, Justice Gorsuch said that there were two issues that the court did not address in the Henson opinion. Well, guess what? Here we are on August the 7th of 2018, and Circuit Judge Thomas Ambro on the Third Circuit dealt with one of those glaring loopholes that Justice Gorsuch so carefully pointed out in his decision the prior year. In substance, and by the way, this is not the least bit surprising, Judge Ambro on the Third Circuit held that if a debt collector purchases a debt, but that person's primary business is the collection of a debt, it is nonetheless a debt collector subject to the strictures and penalties under the FDCPA. And by the way, folks, there is no conflict between the Third Circuit opinion and uh, the Henson decision by Justice Gorsuch, because what Judge Ambro ruled in his case on August the 7th was precisely one of the loopholes that Justice Gorsuch left wide open. Well, if you have anything to do with consumer debt or the collection of consumer receivables, this is a Third Circuit opinion that you very much need to read. You can see my summary of it in Rochelle's Daily Wire on the 9th of August. Uh, meanwhile, this is Bill Rochelle, the editor-at-large for American Bankruptcy Institute, signing off until the same time next week. Until then, good day.